Texas. And I wanted to show in this video a little bit of my process of how I do mortar and, and block work. Uh, I have absolutely no training in this, so I'm just gonna say that right off the outset. Uh, what, what I do seems to uh, work all right, uh, but uh, you know, I just feel the need to let people know that I've never been trained in how to do this and I've just kind of worked it out on my own how, you know, what works best for me. Uh, so, as you can see, what I, I do is I start with a little bit of mortar and I uh, take a, I call the trowel, I forget what these are all called, and uh, I'm kind of just laying it out on the, the seams in the bricks. Now, the, the bricks below are partially filled with concrete. Uh, I, I don't like to fill them right up to the top because I like to kind of interlock all those layers so you have uh, you know, the concrete coming part way up, and then when I put the next row of bricks in, I put concrete on those, the concrete I pour into those will partially submerge into these bricks here to kind of lock them all together a little bit better. But the first step is just to get the bricks in. And I'm doing that with just a, uh, a little pile of mortar a little bit at a time. I, I leave that running uh, to try to prevent that stuff from setting up as long as I possibly can. I just did one bag and instead of uh, putting down the mortar and then immediately putting a brick down, what I like to do is put the mortar down, kind of get a little ahead of myself, and then put the brick down later. And the reason for that is when you put this stuff down initially, it's really, really soupy. Uh, but if it sits for a little while, and by a little while I mean like, you know, a few minutes, uh, it tends to uh, firm up just a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. That's like the, the moisture kind of draining out of it so it doesn't have any extra moisture but it gets a consistency that is a lot easier to work with and uh, I'm probably gonna work myself over to like uh, maybe here or so and then I'm gonna get a brick from over in that pool and I've got them pre-soaking and I'll take a brick and I'll set it in here and when I set it in after this stuff has kind of um, been sitting for a while you can work with it a little bit better without it like just completely like flopping out the sides. I've got a little level that I'm gonna put on the top to make sure that it's level this way and this way. And once I get that brick in, uh, I, I said like I'd probably leave off somewhere around here, I'll add another brick's worth of uh, mortar and then come back here and put a brick here. And then I'll put a little bit more mortar here and then put another brick here. And by doing that, I'll always give the mortar that I'm setting down a little bit of, ch uh, a little bit of time to kind of firm up and uh, you'll be a little bit easier for me to work with. And that's all I wanted to do in this video, was just kind of talk about that, because I, I very rarely actually show me working with concrete uh, in these videos, because uh, whenever I start mixing it, I feel like it's kind of a race. I gotta like get it, get it all down and uh, you know, in place before it really starts setting up and curing. That's it, thanks for watching.